highest version of my higher self only and no other. Please be here with me now. Assist me in channeling messages for the collective today. Connect me to the truth and nothing but the truth and help me to see only what I am allowed to see in the highest good of all. Please protect me and my audience against all and any evil, malicious, intense frequencies and vibrations. Protect me and my audience against all and any evil eye and envies, judgments, witchcraft, low vibrational evil entities of any kind, curses, hexes and spells and psychic attacks. Please help my audience to connect to the right power for themselves and bring love, harmony, joy and balance into this space. Please block out any negative interferences of any kind in the name of love and light. And so it is. Hello there my loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amaryllis and in today's reading we are going to see why do people fall in love with you, okay? So without any further ado, let's just get started and remember that timestamps will be in the description below as well as in the comments. Oh and please keep in mind that this is a general reading so take what resonates, leave out what doesn't for someone else. And of course, if you want something more specific and catered to you, you can always feel free to book a personal reading with me. Okay, now, for my gorgeous group number one, we have this opalite crystal. For my gorgeous group number two, we have this beautiful obsidian. For my group number three, we have the citrine. And for group number four, we have the adventuring crystal. So take your time, see which power resonates with you, which power your intuition connects you to. And I'll be seeing you at your group. You can always feel free to pick another group if what you're hearing doesn't resonate. And of course, you can choose to click out of the reading as well if it really doesn't resonate at all. But I hope it does, okay? And I hope you enjoy this reading. I'm looking forward to seeing you at your group. Bye. Hello there, my loves. Gorgeous group number one. Let's have a look and see why do people fall in love with you, okay? Let's put that opalite crystal aside and see which cards you have resonated with. So, here we have Jupiter energy, okay? We have Mars. We have Taurus. And then we have Virgo and Gemini energy. You do not have to be these the signs. They just let me know what energies are manifesting here. Okay, so I can already see group number one that you're seen as someone who has a lot to offer. You're seen as someone who's very generous, who has a lot to give with Jupiter being here. It's very indicative of that. Okay. Uh, I'm hearing that you're seen as someone who's highly respected, okay? You're seen as someone who's looked up to. Uh, I'm hearing you have a position of power or maybe people just assume that about you. But there's something about your presence, group number one, your aura. It just, um, it commands respect and it commands power with Mars, the warrior, being here. It's very clear that your presence, when you walk into a room, you're seen immediately, Okay. You have a lot of presence to you, especially especially on a physical level. I truly feel like I feel like you're admired for the way you carry yourself, okay? And I have to say, like, there's something about your legs which draws attention. So it could be the way you walk, or maybe your legs are just very strong and firm. Because I'm just seeing um I'm just seeing an image of someone with very very toned thighs, uh, wearing high heels, just walking into a room like they own that room. This is the kind of energy I'm getting here. Um, okay, but I feel like I feel like you guys could be shy at first with Virgo energy being here. I certainly feel like there's um there, there, there's a humbleness to you at the same time, which makes you quite likable to other people, you know. People can sense that um that again there's a lot to you, but at the same time it's like you don't necessarily flaunt it. Uh, in, a, in a direct way it can just be felt it can just be seen you do not have to tell people how great you are you know you just are and people can realize that realize that about you and it kind of uh it, it truly um you have this magnetism and this is what attracts people to you this is why people fall in love with you okay with taurus being here i'm hearing that your um your choice of aesthetic is highly highly desirable highly sought out by others with Taurus energy being here, you guys really know how to dress in a way that's actually quite, um, 
a mirror and sexy and appearing provocative like you guys um you know you you own your sexuality um despite the shyness i'm picking up here i do feel like you guys um you guys will be comfortable wearing revealing clothes and that's just something i'm seeing of course take what resonates leave out what doesn't but i feel like you guys you're you're quite comfortable within your body's hair you do not seem like um like people who just spend hours and hours um kind of you know just just looking down on yourselves I, I feel like you guys maybe you've had a phase where you do that but now i just see you be more much more connected to yourself i see you just being in your body i see you um being in this flow and being at ease with, with yourself and maybe if you have had a phase in the past where you weren't so comfortable i feel like whatever work you've done on yourself it's showing here okay um and with gemini being here i think you're very good at um i think you're very good at conversation okay you're someone who's fun to talk to i feel like you give people the space um to speak their mind you uh you give people the space and you listen you i think you're a good listener um group number one okay i really feel like people feel seen and they feel heard when they're around you and with virgo energy being here i feel like you're not one to back out when someone uh, when someone needs your help, I feel like you would uh, somehow find a solution or offer them some useful advice. I really feel like you're a very thoughtful person, group number one. And you know, with Jupiter being here, you have a lot of wisdom. You have a lot of wisdom that you can um, you can share with others. Although, again, I don't feel like you're the type to flaunt. I really feel like um, maybe some people actually undermine your intelligence, maybe because of the way you're dressed or um there's something about your looks and your mind being quite contrasting so maybe people assume that maybe you wouldn't know too much because you're focused on your looks or um you know but i feel like you really prove people wrong and this contrast it makes you even more seductive it makes you even more appealing to people um because you have a, a lot going on for yourself here okay so that's really nice i really feel like um you guys have I, you guys have quite unique hair like the texture of it could be quite unique i feel like you guys get a lot of questions about your hair uh i'm actually seeing someone with like wavy to curly blonde hair of course your hair doesn't have to be blonde but um it, it's almost like in a way it, the, the way your hair is presented i feel like it has some unique qualities to it okay if i mention specific things like curly wavy blonde hair could just be a very specific message for someone who needs to let go of an insecurity okay because this is why people fall in love with you okay so again general reading take what resonates and specific messages could be for someone but i really feel like there's something special about your hair group number one okay and again the way the way you dress is very is very appealing as well but on top of that you have a very calming nature to you so um you know silent silent confidence silent power um but i do feel like you know when when you talk talk to people you know i see your face brightening up i see you being open and i see you um again wanting to be helpful being engaged um being overall a very very respectful person um okay but i do feel like there's a protective nature to you and you're not one to um to back away when it comes to protecting those who are important to you or i just feel like you're the type of person to do something about injustice okay like you would call people out if if you feel like something something is wrong um okay i feel like i feel like you're you would be very strong uh headed about your point of view with taurus being here and i think people admire your um your ability to really stay true to your beliefs i'm hearing okay um there's definitely an there's there's an element of of truth um being highlighted here where people people admire your truth people admire your way of living and uh again i feel like people would maybe ask you questions there's something here about food i think maybe you guys make really good food because i see people maybe asking you about recipes or, you know, just wishing they had your culinary skills is another thing I'm hearing. Um, but yeah, that's quite clear to me here.
What else am I hearing? I feel like you guys can be quite laid back as well, okay? I feel like uh, you have a very chill nature to you again, and I think a lot of your power is in the way you observe things, okay? And I think this... Um, this observant side of you, I would say, is your most mysterious side. Because when you observe, it's like, I think your gaze is very, um, is very prominent, it's very direct. And I think that you really, um, again, I think people can tell that you really take in what they say. And I almost feel like, again, that there's something about you which commands respect, where people feel like, they can't just say anything and everything around you, you know, people feel comfortable with you, but there's something here which says, something about you which says that, you know, like, don't waste my time, there's something, something like that I'm picking up on where, um, again, there's, there's some sort of high status energy going on with you here, where I just feel like, um, immediately, Im immediately things fall into line in, in your presence here okay um and again i feel like it's because of virgo i'm actually picking up on that whole detail oriented perfectionist energy which virgo has and um i feel like you guys very much have that and you don't you guys don't need to voice your opinions necessarily but it can be seen in the little details like maybe you guys are really um like really meticulous when it comes to your hygiene or you know like ironing your clothes whatever it is um something about the way you present yourself is very like you know like i can't just do nonsense with this person uh even though i do see a a, a fun and playful side to you here as well definitely with gemini being here um but you're definitely i was gonna roll the astrolytes but um I'm, you know the channeled messages are coming through and i don't want to interrupt myself um, I definitely feel like you're a smart person, okay? Like, your intelligence is one of your um, key factors in attracting people. And it's what it's another uh, thing which makes people fall in love with you because we have, we have Virgo and Gemini both ruled by Mercury, okay? Which is communication, but it's also, um, you know, Mercury, in, in a way to me, also represents intellect, okay? Represents having a lot to say um now with jupiter being here i feel like what you would have to say would definitely be of value it would be uh i feel like maybe you guys have accumulated a lot of experiences traveling or or studying or whatever your expertise is you could definitely be college educated or um or be someone who studies a lot in their free time whatever the case may be i think your mind is respected your opinions are respected and people people listen when you speak okay um, cause I'm hearing, I'm hearing that phrase of, you know, like, um, like think before you speak. And I, I certainly feel like you guys would do that in a serious conversation here. Okay. Um, yeah, but there is, there is a charming element to you here because you don't take yourself too seriously. Again, you have a very beautiful balance of playfulness and seriousness. Okay um now i'm gonna get the astro dice so please show me spirit show me the truth and nothing but the truth for my gorgeous group number one why do people fall in love with them so we have virgo energy coming up again we have the south node and we have the 11th house so you actually um you really empower people group number one you make them realize you make them realize why why they're worthy okay i really feel like you lift up people's self-esteem you lift up their egos in a very kind and benevolent way i feel like you know again if someone comes to you with a problem you have a way of just making them feel better about themselves with the 11th house being here it's like you encourage people to put themselves out there okay you inspire people to respect themselves and also you make people want to be more like you people wish that they were as detail oriented as you are people wish they could see the the things that you do people wish that they had your lens on reality because i see you being further ahead than most people and i see people actually being quite envious wishing that they could be more like you because if they had the qualities that you had they knew they they know they know that you know they would advance um but again with the south node being here there's um 
it, it's like you help people to liberate themselves of karmas of 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 traumas of negative energies it's like just speaking to you is very healing with virgo here you definitely have a very healing energy to you whatever domain you work in but i feel like many of you in this group you could identify with the um, healer label okay um yeah yeah i can definitely see that okay there's just something so calming and soothing about your presence when people are around you group number one okay and i i certainly feel like you're very good at your work whatever you do i feel like i feel like your partner f would feel like they have a lot to learn from you okay your partner um your partner just be so interested in what you have to say in your mind and again there's that there's that contrast here where i feel like not only do you look the part but also there's just so much to your mind worth exploring you're definitely someone your partner would be proud to be seen with uh, they would be proud to be represented by you with the 11th house here they would be proud to take you out to introduce you to their friends okay so let's put these here and now i'm going to get a few tarot cards and a few oracle cards okay so please show me spirit show me the truth and nothing but the truth for my gorgeous group number one collective why do people fall in love with them please show me spirit for my gorgeous group number one why do people fall in love with them show me the truth and nothing but the truth Please show me spirit. Why do people fall in love with group number one? Group number one collective. Why do people fall in love with them? Okay. Have the moon. Okay, the moon, the mind. also you're so emotionally intelligent um group number one i really feel like people could talk to you about anything but again there's there's that level of respect i see people having for you where even if you make them feel safe they just know to not step out of line but here we have five of pentacles and we have contemplation okay so i feel like you you might attract a lot of energy vampires group number one okay okay and and here's your chance uh when i said that when i said you attract a lot of energy vampires okay you can tell yourself right now like i'm i no longer consent to attracting energy vampires you can say that to yourself because with this five of pentacles here i almost feel like um i know this this sounds so uh weird but you make people realize like where they can improve uh within their lives you know you make them realize where they could put more effort into themselves because of how refined of how elegant you are okay but again i do feel like you you make people feel better about themselves i don't feel like you make people feel bad um again you're so smart you're so kind you're so emotionally intelligent and um i again i feel like you go out of your way to do i feel like I feel like with the love language love languages i feel like you have all of them but specifically um acts of service gift giving i really see you guys maybe that's something that's um that's really done in your culture but i see i see you being very good with gifts being very um being very thoughtful and uh, again detail oriented with the things you do for people like you actually take the time to do things specifically for them you don't just um you're not the type of person who just does things for it to be done like you, i feel like you really put your whole heart and your soul into the things you do and again i feel like so many of you watching this group like you're really good at cooking here but again with this five of pentacles here um i feel like you help those in need okay you have such a kind generous heart with jupiter that came up um earlier on the oracle cards like you guys are so kind you're so generous um, and people fall in love with your heart they fall in love with your mind and your body as well like you guys group number one um people would be very very lucky 
people would be very very lucky to be with someone like you here because um it's really rare these days to find someone who actually who actually takes you as a person into consideration and doesn't just think of oh you know like what can i get from this person i feel like people maybe do that to you you know they think what can they get from you um but i feel like many of you you've learned your lessons in regards to boundaries here and that's actually making you more attractive i'm gonna get the oracle cards now for my gorgeous group number one friendship okay you, you make people feel comfortable they feel like you're really, a really good friend even if you you know even in the romantic sense just the fact that there's this um understanding uh quality to you like you know we have two cards to indicate that you're someone who's very understanding someone who's very thoughtful you make people feel like you know you're a good friend you're someone who's really there you know someone that they can count on even even in the romantic sense i feel like that's one of your most charming qualities which sets you apart for group number one please spirit why do people fall in love with them okay indecision you help people to make up their minds you may, you help people to make up their minds like there's so much uh you know mental energy here where it's like you help people to get clear with that aspect of themselves you help them to clear out their mind please show me spirit too many cards came out please show me spirit show me the truth and nothing but the truth for oh, my gorgeous group number one why do people fall in love with them why do people fall in love with them oh we have responsibility here so it's very obvious you guys by now it's obvious that you are highly responsible not only for yourself and not only for your own well-being but for the well-being of those around you okay again whoever is going to be with you or if you're already with someone they're extremely lucky to have you and i hope you keep that in mind okay so this has been my reading for you gorgeous group number one i really hope you enjoyed make sure you like as it does help out the channel subscribe if you haven't already and let me know what you think in the comments okay i'm wishing you all a lovely day or night wherever you are and i'm looking forward to hopefully seeing you soon okay bye hello there and welcome to my gorgeous group number two let's have a look and see why do people fall in love with you okay keep in mind this is a general reading not every detail may apply and you do not have to be the zodiac signs which um, come up here okay they just let me know how energies manifest so we have the sun we have venus energy and first thing i heard was very good looking okay <laughs> and with the sun and venus being here like come on sagittarius okay i'm hearing physically fit so you guys could be the gym goer group okay we have libra energy come on and we have leo okay so interesting because here we have venus which rules libra and here we have the sun which rules leo um but with sag being here with sagittarius being here like i'm really getting a sporty quality from you uh in my group group number two okay i feel like you're very witty uh, I think you guys have very good banter. This is something that's coming through. You guys are comedians. Uh, <laughs> you guys have a good sense of humor, intentionally or unintentionally. I feel like you make people just like crack up. And I, I really feel like you have a very nice smile as well. With the sun here, I feel like your teeth are just like, <laughs> just light up. Like you guys have such a, um, such a gorgeous, bright smile. Okay um i'm sorry guys sometimes the way spirit conveys certain messages to me it's almost like it's encrypted and i'm like okay how do i translate this so that people understand what i'm actually wanting to say but anyway <laughs> with venus energy being here i feel like you know whether um you're a male or female watching this you guys have a lot of feminine energy to you okay there's uh there's a softness and there's a refinement to the way you speak especially um but nevertheless i feel like you guys can be quite sassy as well um i'm seeing someone just snap their fingers like you guys are just um yeah you're very witty very funny and you're very socially charming with libra being here as well like you guys you're the you're the charmers here you guys know you know you guys know exactly what to say you know what people want to hear and i feel like 
you guys just play into that okay you guys have such a good sense of humor to you that i feel like sometimes you just do things to see what would happen you know uh so that's yeah you guys are very fun to very fun people actually like i think i think you're one of the first people someone would want to call to invite to a party this is the kind of energy i'm getting here okay um you're you're highly wanted highly desirable in the sense in, in the social sense where it's like oh like we need so and so you know to to brighten up the atmosphere in the room um you know i see you being very in sync with your group or with the people around you or when you are in a in a social setting i just see you synchronizing very easily knowing how to fit in knowing what to say and again you're very um very likable here okay like i see people just being very like um just being very popular with them you know you're very popular with people you know like we have the sun and venus being here um like you're definitely the light bulb in the room <laughs> you're definitely the light bulb in the room um and you just you just attract you just attract all kinds of people to you i feel like with this group though um there's a message coming for about people mostly being interested in the way you look okay at first uh it's like this is the main thing it's like you know the way yeah it's like they, they almost know that if they were associated with you, it's like that would make them popular as well. Or like they can say that they've dated you, you know, there's, there's that kind of thing going on here. Where I feel like maybe you guys attract superficial people at first, where they just um want to be with you based on superficial things. Okay, this is something that's coming through. Um i think i think many of you watching this group you're you're probably artists whatever you do whatever domain whatever your creative domain is um okay i definitely think this group you're your creative people um there's something specifically i'm getting with um maybe being into like textiles fashion whatever style things of the sort um beauty skincare industry these things are being highlighted here and I think this is uh, maybe you doing those things is why, like, maybe like your effort, you know, it, it makes you attractive to people, like it's paying off and you're getting attention for these things that you're um, investing into yourself, but also for your craft. I feel like, um, I feel like, you know, if you guys put out your work on social media or people just see your work, you know, they're very... Um, they're like fascinated to know more, okay? I see, I see people just being interested in your creative work um and yeah and i feel like again it would uh, for a lot of people it, it would be like at first like oh like you know this person's cool they're popular and then this is why people would want to get to know you uh i feel like some of you guys in this group you know you have trust issues as to people's intentions and i mean like i don't blame you um i don't blame you but i think people realize that you know despite despite the fact that you're popular you're actually very down to earth and you're a you're a great person um you know even on a personal level not just based on what they see on the on the outside um okay i'm gonna get the astro dice now there's just something I, I keep hearing about you just being like um like bringing something unique in regards to your creative work or just um or being like a trendsetter you know making certain things popular with leo here you know many of you could have this venus and leo placement um something i'm hearing you could have venus and libra as well um and i feel like many of you watching you'll be sagittarius suns maybe rising um maybe even moon as well but there's something i'm hearing about maybe you guys having an aries moon watching this group you could be an aries moon i'm also hearing gemini okay like something about um gemini energy where you can adapt to the um you can you can adapt to the room okay so i'm gonna roll the astro dice now for my gorgeous group number two please show me spirit show me the truth and nothing but the truth why do people fall in love with my lovely group number two we have sagittarius energy coming up again we have uranus energy and we have the sixth house okay so with sagittarius energy being here um 
you guys you know you could be the type of person to you could be quite hippie-ish to be honest like i'm seeing someone who's on road and they're just like going from place to place being quite nomadic in the lifestyle um that could be that could be you again take what resonates leave out what doesn't but i see you being quite carefree and it's just um like when people see you be so carefree and just so like connected to nature connected to the world around you with uranus being here just being connected to humanity being free being a people person i feel like you're very inspirational in that sense um with the sixth house being here i feel like people have to work really hard to just be what you naturally are that's that's actually what's coming through with this sixth house energy um but i feel like you put in a lot of work as well but people just don't they think it just comes very effortless okay you're very graceful with everything you do um my gorgeous group number two um yeah with sagittarius being here you could be very good at foreign languages okay um you could have a lot of knowledge on other cultures i see many of you in this group like you could um you could watch conspiracies or you could watch documentaries or just like so be someone who's very uh, knowledgeable in like niche interest uh but i see you having like this sort of shock factor to you where maybe you like to shock people in conversations or you want to see their reactions you, you want to know like what how they can react to this you know i just see you being so playful uh, so, so having such a childlike energy to you sometimes just being very very natural very in tune with yourself with your inner child um and yeah okay i'm going to get the tarot cards now i feel like a lot of you will be singers as well watching this group or you could have a sing good singing voice and you've done like nothing with it. I don't know. Something like that just came through. If you know, you know. You know, like, take what resonates, leave out what doesn't. Please show me spirit for my gorgeous group number two. Group number two collective. Show me the truth and nothing but the truth spirit. Why do people fall in love with group number two collective? Please show me. Oh, okay. Why do people fall in love with my gorgeous school? Oh, too many, too many. But you know what? I'm going to put them down because why not? We had three cards come out and they all came out upright. And then we had wisdom in reverse okay so i feel like with this wisdom in reverse you remind people to not take life so seriously um group number two collective okay you remind people to have fun you guys could attract a lot of serious people into your life um you know aside because i see you guys just having like a good friend group or at least just being someone who has the potential of having a group a good friend group if you haven't found that already um but i see you just like reminding people that you know life doesn't have to be so serious life doesn't always have to be about being morally correct and you know like always being so focused on making sure to do the right thing you just remind people to live with this prince of cups i feel like um i feel like you actually can be quite romantic here like, <laughs> again it's like i feel like you guys are just so so charming that it's like who wouldn't who would not fall in love with group number two okay and uh, with this ace of staves being here like come on you know you just i feel like you just um you you, tri you trigger people's sacral chakra if you know what i mean like you just trigger um how how can i put it you know i'm on, I'm on youtube i have to i have to keep it pg you know but with this ace of staves it's like you know people want to get with you okay people want to get with you in 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 that sense like the moment they see you it's like they they imagine all sorts of things okay and with the queen of swords i feel like you you just say what's on your mind you know you tell the truth but you're funny at the same time and you can get away with it like you can get away with whatever you want um to say to be fair uh and again it's like 
the sense of humor you have is what is like what allows you to get away with a lot of things um like i even see like doing little pranks on people or just doing things to have a good laugh and i think they appreciate that you know like it just puts them in a in a in a good mood and you lift you lift people's vibrations up in this very light-hearted sort of innocent way um but yeah with this ace of staves it's like you know you're very very physical attract very physically attractive and you know quite uh arousing to people um that's just that word makes me so uncomfortable i don't know why i just thought i didn't want to use that word but that was the word that was coming to me um so yeah okay i'm going to get some oracle cards now and let's have a look and see my gorgeous group number two i feel like you guys would have to initiate a lot like a lot of the time um because i think people are actually like low-key intimidated by you i see people shooting their shot but there's some like to a certain degree it's like not exactly what you want and i don't think you're the desperate type i think you're the type to like you know really in investigate someone before just <laughs> deciding to be with them you know um again there's like a level of discernment to who you associate yourself with again because i feel like you guys have some sort of like clout popularity whatever for group number two collective please show me spirit show me the truth and nothing but the truth why do people fall in love oh we have indecision in reverse okay and in the first group actually in group number one this card came up upright uh, but actually, I feel like with indecision in reverse, it's like you guys make people question themselves. Like, you kind of give people indirect ego deaths where it's like, what have I been doing all my life? Like, why am I not having as much fun as uh, group number two is? You know, why can't I just enjoy life the way that group number two does? And um, this reminder, it, it makes people fascinated with you. Like, you become a muse, you know? Um, you become the inspiration for people um, <laughs> just by being yourself. Like you, you're like a catalyst, you know. And let's see for group number two. And again, it's very unintentional. Okay, we have commitment in reverse. So you just remind people, like you don't have to take things so seriously. Like not everything has to be like all in or all out or like you know you you're kind of like the balance you're the in between for people it's very refreshing it's a very refreshing quality you have okay um let me see definitely a lot of air and fire sign energy from this group like <laughs> okay for group number two collective why do people fall in love with you please show me spirit See what i mean you guys you guys give people ego deaths you guys make people question their whole lives just because like they're having so much fun like why am i not doing that you are your own individual you're an original you do not have to copy anyone else you have your own swag group number two like who would not fall in love with you like i would loneliness okay <laughs> i feel like you guys remind people i know this sounds like a bit sad but you guys remind people that um they're actually quite lonely like i feel like in your presence people feel so connected they feel so alive and then when you're not around it's like oh you know it's like this feeling of emptiness here again like you guys you give people so much light you're so vibrant well group number two collectively spirit okay we have loyalty and we have freedom with loyalty and free I, I, i'm not taking this as a reversal because that that doesn't make sense to me uh for this group uh because i feel like you guys are very loyal to like i i think you guys have like a few solid friends that you're very loyal to um and they're the ones that you um you know like you would stay committed to because i i get the very non-committal vibe from this group but you would stay loyal and, and and committed to things that really 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 matter to you 
uh and so that's why when you do give out that commitment people are able to value it more you know because you don't just hand it out but again you guys liberate people you guys are free you're a free spirit um <laughs> in and out you're a free spirit and this makes people want to tap into that aspect of themselves where they just want to be wild and they just want to let go of any kind of restraints or whatever's holding them back and you know leo energy came up earlier so like of course you're loyal of course you're fierce but only to things that are really like really matter to you to things that touch your heart that's where you're very loyal and you would do anything for those people so again it's like people wish that they had your loyalty here okay and then we have spontaneity here so you're quite spontaneous as well and you're good at being spontaneous group number two okay so i really hope you enjoyed today's reading okay make sure to like let me know what you think in the comments and of course you can subscribe if you haven't already as it does help out the channel and also it does help my messages to be more accurate and specific to my subscribers and yeah you can always book a personal reading if you feel like you know you want something more in depth something more specific to you and your energy but that was all my loves and i hope you have a gorgeous day or night wherever you are see you hello there my loves my gorgeous group number three welcome to your reading let's have a look and see why do people fall in love with you okay so Please keep in mind this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave out what doesn't. And you do not have to be the zodiac signs which come up. They just let me know what energies are manifesting here. We have the moon energy. Oh, I can already feel like you guys are very sensitive people, okay? You guys, you could be psychics. Um, you could be healers. You could you could be very tapped in, you know, to the collective energies. Like, I just feel that from you guys um where you pick up on things very quickly you pick up on your environment very quickly like this is what i'm getting from this moon card with saturn being here okay that's very interesting okay we have pisces we have pisces energy we have aries energy okay and then we have cancer energy here so okay you guys um how can i put it the first thing i heard was you're the friend that people go to when they want to rant when they want to talk about something you're like girl i got you like don't worry about it like i'm here to listen um and i feel like this quality of yours i feel like the divine masculine i think you guys attract uh very masculine individuals or just people who are much more serious much more in their frame um compared to you because i feel like divine masculine is very amused by this because in a way it's like unre very unrelatable to highly divine masculine energy to to just be so um like so talkative in a way <laughs> so talkative in a way but it's like um how how can i put it uh my gorgeous group number three i feel like you guys you guys give people space to like really express themselves to really say what's on their mind to be like completely honest with um with like you know what they've been going through or you know you're that listening in and especially like i feel like you guys give out very good relationship advice or romantic advice like you're really there for your girlfriends you know um this is the vibe i'm getting from this group and i feel like again like the vibe masculine just actually really finds that quite cute finds it attractive almost just because it's so like unrelatable you know the the polarity between the two of you would just how can i put it um it just ignites the fire within the divine masculine um, right so with this aries energy being here you're definitely quite um quite feisty okay like come on aries energy you're feisty you're able to just uh i feel confront things quickly and then get over it um i actually feel like you're quite direct but at the same time i feel like you guys are quite sensitive as well like i hate i i I heard the word cry baby so i feel like you know you guys be the type to like watch an animal documentary and like start crying because look what's happening to the lions or you know <laughs> which like i totally get because I'm, I'm a cancer moon 
and um it's like i can be quite sensitive in that same way but with pisces energy being here as well like i i definitely think i think that you have um you you're naturally highly highly feminine you're naturally highly um just in touch with your emotions in in touch with your uh, spirituality i feel um you know you guys you could value a lot of you could value doing things like yoga um you know doing things to further activate your psychic abilities with this pisces being here you know you could be into painting specifically i'm hearing um and again, I feel like the things that you're interested in will just be so different from your partner, where I feel like you guys are totally engaged with your hobbies and with your own life. Uh, and I think this makes you highly attractive to Divine Masculine, where they just kind of see you doing your own thing. Like, you know, with Saturn energy here, you're very dedicated um, to the things you enjoy and to the life you live, to your friends, to your network. Um, like, I don't, I don't think that if someone like broke up with you guys like oh this is the end of the world like um I, I don't i don't get that at all because i actually feel like you know you guys have things going on for yourselves outside of a romantic relationship and this makes you highly desirable to to people because they can sense that like um th there's there's like a healthy level of independence here you know where i feel like you're able to be in your frame be independent but at the same time you know when to rely on people you know um you know i feel like you're comfortable with relying on your um support net network your support system here you know um and that's actually very beautiful and we could all learn from you um my group number three i know i could learn more from you uh you know in, in the sense of um just being more more open with my needs here um i feel like maybe in the past people have tried to maybe either shame you for your needs or make you feel like your needs are not important but i feel like you guys understand your right um to have feelings and to yeah to have your own way of feeling a certain way about something and i feel like despite what maybe what some people have said to you, you guys still choose to be brave and still choose to um um you know prioritize your own needs you know it's very nice energy we have going on here mm. i feel like you guys would be open to trying out new things as well like going out of your comfort zone like again despite the fact that you have your own way of doing things i feel like you're um you know open-minded to to hearing and seeing how other people live their lives to seeing um what other people think and i think like you can just go with the flow and you're able to allow divine masculine to take the lead um and that's highly attractive to them because it's like you're not you know they know that you can be um there's almost a satisfaction where it's like they know you can be fierce but you choose not to like you choose to um you know um compromise for them at times you know uh you know in every relationship it, it takes two to work right but it's almost like they just really appreciate the fact that they know how they see how strong and independent you are yet you, you're choosing them you're choosing to rely on them there's that kind of a feeling here as well again take what resonates leave out what doesn't this is a general reading but yeah i'm gonna roll the astral dice now so please show me spirit show me the truth and nothing but the truth for my gorgeous group number three collective show me the truth and nothing but the truth why do people fall in love with my gorgeous group number three we have the eighth house we have libra energy and we have saturn so um i'm actually hearing like you know if you um you could be a mother watching this group you could be a mom um like i think i think just your nurturing qualities and uh you know maybe the way you show up for your family can be something that's um that makes you highly highly attractive um you know and people fall in love people fall in love with your ability to show up and be there for your family for your community but also to i'm almost hearing like you're, you're kind of like the glue that keeps things together you know and i think it's very obvious um i think it's very obvious that without you things wouldn't really get done this is what i'm getting with this libra energy i think you help to keep the peace and also there's something um, i'm hearing like you calm down people's nervous systems like when someone's triggered you're able to just calm them down um 
you're you're just there to to listen to them like rant you're able to just like really hold that space for them uh it's really what i feel like and saturn coming up again so it's like you guys you you're able to despite all this sensitivity that's going on here you're able to put that aside and still be responsible still be able to show up and again this is why i feel like many of you watching this group you could be um you could be mothers because it's like despite everything like there's there's like a hustler energy here you know um despite your own needs despite what you need despite your soft nature you know it's like you've had to harden up you've had to um you have you've had to show up maybe when there was not a masculine figure to take care of things and i feel like i feel like there's a lot of divine masculine energies who would maybe want to be there for you but for some of you i'm actually still feeling like there's a kind of a closed off energy here uh but you know there's it's like i don't think you realize just how likable you are and just how how desirable you are especially in the eyes of the divine masculine um i feel like you guys get a lot of offers but you don't or like people like you and they don't you don't realize that they do or like you know people are more interested in you than you think because i you know despite all these great things i'm seeing i feel like you guys still haven't um like claimed all of that and like really accepting this benevolent truth about yourself this these higher qualities to you um like i think you guys just need to become more conscious of that and maybe receiving uh receiving romantic offers would would become much easier you know because you're more comfortable with um, with these good qualities about yourself and so when someone points them out to you and no longer feels like oh they could be lying or they you know um i do feel like there's certainly some trust issues that could be worked on with this group in regards to maybe um previous rom like negative romantic relationships or marriages even um but whatever it is i really feel like you guys despite what you may think about yourself you're highly still wanted still desirable and i'm saying still because i feel like many of you watching this group you could have an insecurity around your age um around the way you look whatever it is is like you still got it you know this was the thing that came into my head like you still got it like you're not um you're not down you're not down in the dumps you still have it you still have things going for you and um i think you've had a lot you know you have a lot of wisdom as a result of having to transform and let go of things over and over again you've had to let go of things over and over again and you've had to like be that be that solid force in your own life and also be like the backbone to a lot of things and again the glue keeping things together and um people see this like i feel like people are highly aware of this whether they communicate that to you or not um people appreciate the work that you do for them but there is a message coming through about boundaries and making sure to um just because you're the glue it doesn't mean that you're responsible for each and every thing that happens to people but um a lot of the time i see that many people be interested to to be with you to be in a romantic relationship with you because they feel like there would be a very um like there'll be teamwork and there'd be like great understanding um because again there's that kind of nature to you where i feel like people people feel like you know they can build something with you here this is the kind of energy um you know with eighth house uh rolling shared assets um but yeah i'm going to get into the tarot now So please show me spirit, show me the truth and nothing but the truth. For my gorgeous group number three collective. For my lovely group number three collective, show me the truth. Show me the truth and nothing but the truth. I feel like... What was I going to say? I wasn't actually going to say anything, but I don't know why I said that anyway oh tarot readers guys we all have our quirks okay be nice <laughs> for my gorgeous group number three please spirit why do people fall in love with them show me the truth why 
Barbie people. Okay, we have Prince of Pentacles here. So I see a lot of people just coming to you asking for help. It's like people feel like you can save them. Okay. People feel like you can save them. And you know, if you if you don't enjoy um hearing that this is the kind of energy you attract, you know, this is a sign that maybe um you need to do some work on the way that you show up and in your energy like stop making people feel like they can always depend on you you know like there has to be some boundaries like it's great that you're such a dependable person but like you know you need to set those boundaries um but i do feel like people will be interested in you because they're like oh like she or he can solve my problems here you know We have five of swords in reverse so i feel like you know i'm getting this energy like if someone's just had a hard day of work they come home and they're able to you know drop conflict behind they're able to like forget about their hard day at work and concentrate on like the cozy comfortable atmosphere that you prepare for them like um i really feel like many of you watching this group you could be homemakers whatever you do it's like i i see I see that the home is like taken care of and it's it's one of the things that you know people fall in love with you for the this nurturing aspect you have they see it they see it manifesting because you're choosing to manifest it you know like you're choosing to take care of the house you're choosing to cook you're choosing to do all these things to keep the home together and this is another reason as to why people fall in love with you again being able to take care of things next we have fortune okay next we have fortune and it's like um i'm hearing like being able to appreciate the simple things in life like i feel like you guys would be would be happy um with, with with honestly just receiving any kind of appreciation from people because i feel like you're someone who's humble you're someone who's been through things and you understand that every little thing takes it, it takes effort and it takes yeah it takes hard work and you guys are able to appreciate that so it's like your outlook on life being able to be so like grateful and appreciative it, it, it makes people want to give you more okay but there is this message here of like you need to focus more on yourself you need to focus more on yourself especially if you want to attract the right kind of partner which would want to provide for you and not just take okay so that's the message coming through here but you know anyone will be lucky to be with you because look at how much you're able to do look at how much you bring to the table group number three okay like look at how much you do okay you need someone who is able to reciprocate that you need someone who um who sees you for you and not just the things that you're able to do okay so that's why i said focus more on yourself and not just on doing things and not just being the glue to everyone else but being the glue to yourself and like just keeping yourself together you know like let people take care of you for once and you know let go of people who don't reciprocate because you don't owe anyone anything we have princess of cups in reverse coming up here okay and this is the equivalent to the knight of cups in reverse so because maybe you're so busy it's like you know it, it i feel like it makes people feel like they can't approach you or like you have you already have so many things going on it's like they probably wouldn't have time to go out for a day or you're just so occupied that you're not you're not making room for romance in your life they're just there's just a lot of busy energy i see going on with you where it's like i see these offers wanting to come in but you're not energetically making the space for it okay and we have nine of cups here okay so i see that i see that if you start to reclaim your energy back i see that you will have this nine of cups and you will um you will attract someone who truly truly sees your worth okay for who you are and not just for all these cups that you have but just for you and like appreciating you and who you are and you being the center of the relationship as the divine feminine and not the other way around 
um that's just something that came through her but i'm gonna get a few oracle cards for you my loves so please show me spirit show me the truth and nothing but the truth why do people fall in love with my gorgeous group number three why do people fall in love oh okay we have virtue okay we have virtue here you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow okay and i feel like if some of you guys if you are faithful if you are spiritual like i see some of you watching this group like you go to church and you do that kind of thing where it's like i don't know people appreciate you showing up in that way I, I, I don't know if that makes sense okay that's that's this is only going to apply to some of you here we have trust okay so you're very dependable people feel like they can trust you okay group number three let's see why do people fall in love with you okay we have judgment in reverse so you're not you don't make people feel judged okay you do not make people feel judged you make them feel again comfortable enough to open up to you okay so that this has been my reading for you my gorgeous group number three i really hope you enjoy like let me know what you think in the comments and of course um subscribe to stay updated with new videos and of course it does help out the channel massively so it's highly appreciated and yeah, I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are. And you can always keep in mind that, you know, if you want something more specific to you, you can always book a personal reading with me. Okay, details are in the description below. But yeah, hopefully see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hello there to my gorgeous group number four. Welcome to your reading let's have a look and see why do people fall in love with you please keep in mind this is a general reading so not every detail may apply and you do not have to be the zodiac signs which come up in this reading okay so yeah they just let me know how certain energies manifest we have aquarius energy here we have capricorn energy here and i'm hearing the word diligent okay we have scorpio energy and we have pluto and mercury so you guys um you can have like a bitch energy to you with pluto and scorpio being here and capricorn it's kind of like you know you're very intimidating i'm not gonna lie group number four you have very intimidating energy like pluto scorpio like pluto is the ruler of scorpio you have aquarius capricorn energy and then you're probably thinking like yeah i already knew that because come on you guys probably already know a lot about astrology a lot about um psychology a lot about you know more niche kind of topics and you having this sort of um you know you having these different interests is part of your charm and why you know people are attracted to you this is why people fall in love with you um i really feel like you guys could have like a very um very like unique face okay because th i don't know i'm just getting an image of a unique face i really feel like whatever you guys do to your face makeup piercings whatever like your face somehow stands out um and this isn't a reading about like oh what makes you attractive this is why this is why people fall in love with you this is a reading as to why um you know people fall in love with you so your face is um is definitely being highlighted here there's something very interesting about your face and 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 when you talk it's like people just focus on your face in particular like i just see that being very prominent um and i feel like you guys have very good skin okay there's something about your skin being very glowy um like not having to put too much effort into skincare there's just um there's like a natural en energy here where it's like i see you guys embracing your natural beauty or like being into things like herbal medicine being into natural ways of taking care of yourself i'm even hearing homeopathy like um whatever you guys do like acupun acupuncture massages i think you guys could be into these kinds of things 
and it definitely helps to maintain your your physical appearance and you know people are attracted to you because of that um i feel like there's just a lot of in the individuality associated to the way you present yourself um even to the way that you dress maybe you have like a kind of like an ethical code behind why you dress the way you do or like why you do certain things um but there's this energy here of like you know i just do things my way it's like whatever um and i, I feel like you guys you you know you have a lot to share you have a lot to give in a conversation here um you guys are really able to help people up able to help people out in um you know just by sharing your views on certain things and i don't feel like you do that directly because i don't think you go into conversation with like the intention of like oh i'm gonna help people i don't see you being this kind of person i see you just be like just just wanting and feeling the need to share your opinion and people are like oh yeah cool you know <laughs> it's just like this unconscious way of like helping people just it just kind of happens you know um, I feel like you guys get a lot of synchronicities, you know, if you're very much into um, manifesting and law of attraction and stuff like that. I feel like you guys get a lot of free things or like you get a lot of synchronicities happen to you. That's just something that's coming up. Um, but I feel like maybe, you know, if you're a divine feminine watching this, like I think with this Scorpio energy, people have called you a witch in the past or like they've said you have a witchy vibe. Or maybe even people have associate like um sorry accused you of doing witchcraft on them because I feel like when people um they reach that level of intimacy with you they're just completely charmed and like outdone by you and it's like I I don't feel like um people ever meet anyone like you and there's this energy here of like this person's not my usual type but like you know once they actually get to be with you it's like oh wow like I've been missing out like this is everything i've been waiting for there's very much that sort of energy going on here where it's like there's more to you than what people expect you like you take people by surprise and like are we even surprised because aquarius energy is here but you really take people by surprise and i think you have like you you know if people have a certain type you're like the one to break that chain and it's like well i'm your type now <laughs> but then they never find anyone like you again um this is the kind of energy we have going on here my loves um yeah wow wow like i i don't know like the way the way you dress um uh, it definitely attracts a lot of attention because now i feel drawn to talk about how you uh, you look good wearing black you look good wearing purple um and you know it's like such a stereotype for scorpio energy but like it keeps coming up so you guys have mu you guys must have like really good sense of style because uh, this is the only power i just keep going on and on about your sense of style uh <laughs> so clearly it's very important uh where i feel like even some of your conversations revolve around that or you know some of you guys you could do uh modeling but there's this energy there's like an aloof energy almost like a very coquette energy where it's like yeah like you know this and that and whatever you just make things seem like they're not a big deal and um like it, it makes you seem quite hard to get which can be very uh very seductive to, especially to anyone who's into um you know that kind of chaser dynamic um where they want to uh like pursue you quite a lot you know to impress you because i feel like you're hard to impress group number four i don't think you're easily impressed i feel like you're even listening to this reading like yeah you're right but like whatever you know <laughs> like that's the kind of voice i'm hearing in my head um anyway anyway i'm gonna roll the astro dice now to see why do people fall in love with you my gorgeous group number four please show me spirit show me the truth and nothing but the truth for my gorgeous group number four why do people fall in love with them okay we have 12th house energy we have virgo energy and we have neptune energy okay wow so um i'm hearing like manic pixie dream girl i'm hearing like how can i put it yeah you guys are something else you know the world has not seen anything like you before clearly because 
um it, it's like you've just come out of a fantasy you know some of you guys you could even be into cosplay watching this group you could be into anime like you could just have interest which is just not like really grounded you know like you're into things which um which help people escape you know you could be into psychedelics you could be into uh films you could be into like you know all these kind of creative hobbies but they're they're more on the niche side you know like it's not i would not say it's like creative uh creativity on a more basic or superficial realm it's like things people don't really hear about unless they research or like you know you you stand out in a crowd that's for sure for sure the case um but i feel like you guys uh you have very good intuition with this 12th house here this is what i'm getting where it's like maybe you guys maybe you guys like you get downloads in your dreams or like you realize why things happen the way they do um in your dreams like you have a very strong connection to the dream realm here um but i also feel like you are a dream come true to to whoever you attract romantically it's like you're you're really a blessing for them with neptune energy here i feel like you're also very adaptable and you're very hard to grasp you know like this enigmatic energy of like you know you'll never really grasp who i really am you know i'm just like um I'm, I'm an illusion okay and you're here you're here for now <laughs> okay i think you guys understand what i'm trying to say but you're very um i think you really respect your own uh again you, you respect this thing you've created for yourself this way of living um and i feel like you're not willing to compromise on on that and at the same time you're just so so detail oriented with it you're so perfectionistic about it with this virgo energy here it's like people can't help but respect you even if maybe they don't understand why you do certain things it's like they respect you because they see the amount of dedication that you have to what it is that you're doing okay um a hundred percent a hundred percent okay okay wow yeah uh now i'm going to get into the tarot cards So, please show me spirit, show me the truth and nothing but the truth for my gorgeous group number four collective, please. For my gorgeous group number four collective, show me the truth and nothing but the truth. Why do people fall in love with them? Why do people fall in love with group number four? Too many cards keep dropping out you guys but here we have nine of cups in reverse okay nine of cups in reverse it really stood out to me so i picked it out from the bunch and with this nine of cups in reverse like i'm hearing emo you know like you guys could be goth you could be alternative whatever your vibe is it's like you're edgy you know you're kind of edgy and i think you attract specific types of people uh or like people who are like oh like i've never been with so it's like such a kind of person before like i want to try so make sure you guys are careful that people don't just uh use you as an experiment uh with fertility here you guys could look very fertile you know it's uh i'm taking this as quite a literal interpretation you could be quite voluptuous quite curvaceous um that's coming through we have two of cups here we have two of cups here so i think you guys also have a very good balance of masculine and feminine energies and you know how to like bounce back and forth between the two like i think you guys definitely do energy work on yourselves or like you you, you know you know about concepts like alchemy here nine of swords in reverse um you don't like you don't like to be in fear and also i feel like you take away the fear from other people i, f I strongly feel like you guys um like you, you guys have this like i could not care less attitude about you and so um you know it's like people are like wow like i want to be like that you know uh <laughs> again like that this is just the kind of energy i'm getting here with you um group number four i'm gonna get more cards because you guys are probably listening like show me more evidence like i want more evidence you know 
seven of pentacles so you guys don't really have seven of pentacles in reverse so like you guys don't really have to try too hard or like it comes across that way you come across as cool you know like i don't really have to work hard for anything like it just comes to me you know like that's the vibe <laughs> sorry i keep doing that voice but this is how you guys are sounding in my head where it's like i don't know it's just this stereotypical like b-i-t-z-h energy but i'm here for it you know i'm loving it you know i'm 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 really loving it i love the vibe like i would not be surprised if you guys in this group like you could be lgbt like if you're a male what male watching this in particular like you could very very well be lgbtq plus you already know transformation here okay like is there anything else to be said like you guys when when you, you when you come into someone's life you give them a tower moment just because it's like when they meet you you just open them up to like this i feel like you open up people to the spiritual realms you open up people to different dimensions of themselves um you just kind of like unlock things for people with your with your vibration of your frequency because you're so i feel like you you're you're highly embodied within yourself you're so highly embodied that it's like it, it can be triggering for some people i'm not gonna lie but it, it's almost like okay i keep hearing that you guys might attract people who don't like you like they hate you but they love you at the same time like they want to be you like you attract people who want to imitate you okay i'm not gonna lie this is what i was hearing <laughs> and that can be quite frustrating but there's this again there's this element here of like you transport people into other dimensions okay whether that means you do um you have to do like things on the external level with them like psychedelics or whatever or just a simple conversation with them or you're just walking by dressed the way that you're dressed it's like um can really evoke certain things from people they they wish they could be as embodied as you they wish that they could just embrace their own uniqueness the way that you do so please show me spirit for group number four collective have four of staves here so you seem very grounded very stable within yourselves okay it's like again and, and it's that because i'm focused on the sun here and again it's like the more energy you have within your body the more magnetic you become because you have energy to attract those things to you and you guys you have that energy to attract people places and things to you and, and i'm hearing like it goes your way it's your way or the highway and it's simple as okay mm. interesting now i'm going to get the oracle cards for you my gorgeous group number four Please show me spirit show me the truth and nothing but the truth for my lovely group number four why do people fall in love with group number four we have expression here okay you guys you people fall in love with you just based on the way you express yourself okay however that resonates with you however way you express yourself here we have compassion and harmony okay so i feel like you are able to be compassionate but i don't feel like you hand out your compassion just like that to anyone um i feel like you're able to sympathize with people who have been through a lot and maybe there's a lot of conversations to do with um to do with like similar experiences in the past or like you know stuff like that here we have harmony okay so i think i think with this harmony card i'm getting like you're a vibe you know like you're able to just um like you're able to harmonize and and uh, uh but by harmonize i mean like i i don't know like i'm focused on music i'm hearing music um like like i don't know how to put it but the way you the way you are when you're you're like in a like maybe at a concert or like i i don't know how to put it but there's something about you when you're when you're surrounded by like when you're listening to a particular type of music the way you're able to like connect with that and like be with that energy it can be seen as very attractive from the outside i don't i hope you guys know what i mean um but there's just something about the way you attune to like 
the room but when you're in your element because i don't i don't feel like I don't feel like you guys adapt to anything and everything like i feel like you guys would only kind of let go and put your guard down when you feel like you're in a space where you can completely be yourself and when that happens it's like this harmony is created there we go i finally got out what i was trying to say god um for group number four for these spirit why are people attracted to them oh we have there we go we have self-esteem this is why people fall in love with you i know when i shuffled i asked why are people attracted to you but i guess pe i guess spirit just wa wanted me to ask the question like that okay like okay self-esteem self-esteem so you have a lot of self-esteem group number four and you're able to accept yourself okay we have relationships here and with relationships being here i feel like this is about like a particular group of people you hang out with or like certain types of people you hang out with um again i feel like the people you hang out with would be on a similar wavelength um i don't see that i don't see you be like be involved with people who are too different from you um and we have patience here okay so you guys are patient okay I feel like I feel like you guys are quite slow in the way you move and in the way you do things and so you know it's like this feline lioness energy you have this is what I'm getting from this patience card okay uh something about like slow movements being quite attractive um to people you know anyway this has been my reading for you, gorgeous group number four. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, let me know what you think. And of course, subscribe to stay updated uh, for future videos. And yeah, I hope you have a good night, good day or night, wherever you are. And see you. Bye.